Hello friends, welcome back to New West Academy. In today's session, we are going to discuss about how to configure the custom domains uh, for our, our Cloud of 2.0 private space to have a, you know, multiple ingress load balancer URL. Generally, you know, uh, in my previous sessions for our Cloud of 2.0, and uh, this is a continuation of that part, so you might have seen that for one app, we can have multiple public URLs, okay? So for each custom domain name, you'll get a different URL. We can use those URLs for our, our applications deployed under private space under Cloud of 2.0, okay? So first, uh, before going <clears throat> and jumping into the technical details, I recommend everyone to please go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you're not done. Please, uh, you know, and hit the bell icon so that you get notification for new uh, uploaded videos and hit the like button. Okay. Okay. So let's look at. So as per the previous sessions, I have created one uh, one private space over here. And since it takes time, okay, so I have created. So before this session, you know, uh, before starting this session, so it will it will take some time once you know this thing will get populated. This IP address won't get populated immediately. It takes time. Okay. So I have created it. So if you look at the details, right? Uh, I have created in um, it's a specific Southeast one. And this is my starter block for my private space. This is my public DNS. Okay. We'll talk about it. This public DNS target will be very useful. It will be useful while uh, you know um, uh, writing C name mapping on our uh, domain name on uh, DNS server. Second one, every every app we get the public domain name as well as the private domain. Okay, so this is our private domain. Then for inbound traffic and outbound traffic, we'll be having static static IPs. So this is again the number of static IPs will be associated with our inbound and outbound based on the availability zones and the region. Okay, in which region you are creating and how many LP zones are available. Okay, so these things we have already discussed. If you go and create connection, we have two options VPN and transit gateway. So these are again our two different topics to discuss. Let's come back to our today's uh, area of discussion. Okay, so we are going to talk about the custom domain and we are going to add custom TLS. So if you look at this, this will be coming by default. Okay. So this is our uh, key store, which will be getting uploaded by Newsoft itself. And if you want more details on this, this, this certificate or this custom domain will be coming from Let's Encrypt and will give you for 90 days. Okay, it will give you this SSL certificate for 90 days. So you'll see here, there will be an internal and there will be external uh, domain name available over there in the default. Now I have uploaded my custom uh, TLS for, for my uh, new domain. Okay, So first, let's go ahead and first, let's buy the our domain name. So I prefer to have my, my channel name itself, so mulesacademy.com. So we can buy this from, uh, you know, there are multiple DNS providers. I choose to have GoDaddy. So if you go to GoDaddy, I have bought this domain name, and you can see that this is my domain name available here. Okay. Once you bought it, what we can do is we can tell our our uh, uh, you know, um, DNS server that okay, if any traffic comes on this domain name, you can divert that traffic to my ingress load balance. How we can do that? Let me show you how we can do that. Okay, but let's look at let's let's get that uh, our public. DNS target. So let's take this. Okay. And let's go to our DNS server provider in DNS section over here. Let's go here in the DNS section. View DNS mapping for my domain name, which is my muleacademy.com. And under this, say add new default. Here, select the name, pass R over here and then pass the value. Okay, so which value we are going to divert? So this is my public 
domain target of my ingress load balance. And TTL, we can give custom TTL, so I, I, I can give one week, blah, blah. Okay. So once you add this record, we can test whether my traffic is really transferring on this particular public DNS target or not. For that, we have something called what what's my dns dot name we can go on this website and we can say here www dot new s academy dot com and we can say that okay give me a cname and search okay you can see that its traffic is going on the proper so that means my mapping on my DNS server is perfectly working. Okay. So once that is done, second thing we need to do is we need to get the SSL certificate. Okay. So we can get the SSL certificate from zero SSL or we can get it from let's encrypt. So we have two providers, you know, we can go ahead and get this from let's encrypt and we can get it from zero SSL. So I downloaded it from my <clears throat> zero SSL. So you can go ahead, type your domain name over here and say next step. Okay. And you log in here and you say next step, it will give you a zip file that will have your SSL certificate. Okay. So for white certificate, you need to buy the subscription for, for normal certificate. You don't need to buy any subscription. Okay. So let's go ahead and how it looks. So let me put it that in mind. So I, I downloaded it. So you will get the zip file. Okay. So something like you'll get a zip file like this. Then you unzip it. You'll find the CA bundle over there, your public certificate and private. These three things will be used while configuring this custom ELS on our ingress load balance. Or there's one way of doing it. Second way of doing is <clears throat> we can have, we can write our config file. Okay, and we can write, uh, we can run a manual command and get the wildcard certificate. This will be self signed and the zero SSL will be a CA signed. Server. Okay, so both ways I have shown you how to do it. And for this, I'll use this config file to generate the, the private key and the public certificate. So this is the command very simple command. So we are going to use open SSL exe and we'll say required new key. This is the algorithm we are going to use nodes key out. And this will be my private key over here dot pem format. Okay. And I'm saying this will get expired on 3000 days and I'll be getting public certificate over here. And I'm saying that use this config file. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this config file one level up. Let's go here and test it. Okay. Over here. Okay. And let's start the command line from here. So I just start the command line over here and let's go ahead and copy this command. Very simple command. I'll show you and I'll, I'll share the, uh, the URLs, uh, for the documentation of generating the the you know uh, public certificate private key this well documented on our new soft documentation okay so let's copy this come back to your command line paste this and just run it it will create two files okay one public certificate one private uh, private key so let's have let's go back to our our so we created this which is our third and private so both the things are created okay now, what we are going to do is we are going to use these two files and configure our configure our custom TL. Okay. So if I go here and say edit, okay. So here we'll be uploading dot pem file. One is our public certificate, one is our private key. And once we upload this. Okay. And this setting we already done on our DNS server. Okay. So let me show you. Let's, what we can do is 
go back. Let's agree. Okay, create. So we'll upload first our certificate. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and upload our private key. I have not used any key password, so keep this is empty. CA pass, I don't have CSI certificate, so I'm not going to upload it. It's optional. And it's saying that once you do this, once you configure DNS, okay, so for each domain in the key store, which we have just now configured, follow these steps. So we have already done this setting on our domain name server. Okay, so it says that it may take up to 24 hours for changes to take effect. Okay, since that's the reason I have created this mapping already and we have tested it, it's coming perfectly fine. Okay, let's go ahead, create TLS context. This is our custom. Once this is done, once this is done, we we'll go ahead and we'll deploy. So it is saving these changes. Let, let, let it save. We'll go ahead and deploy one application inside our private space. Okay, so I have deployed one application called Hello World over here. Okay, and under Hello World, we can have multiple public URLs. So now let me delete this. So there are no URLs, uh, public URLs for now. So we have deleted it. So what, what do you mean by this? That means there won't be any public access to this Hello World app. Okay, so what we are going to do is let's go ahead and add. So we have multiple options. First one is default one. You take it. Now, since we have uploaded wildcard certificate, we can go ahead and we can add our custom domain. Okay. So in subdomain, I don't want app name. I don't want this. Okay. What I want is I want something like my non prod environment. You can see the URL now. And instead of path, what I'll say, I'll say hello. Okay, now you see the URL. We'll go ahead and we'll say apply this change. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll say apply this change. It will take some time. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply these changes. So it will redeploy. See, this will this will be done in zero downtime. Okay, so now new pod will be created over here. See, new pod is getting created. This pod, once this is ready, this pod will be shut down gracefully. Okay. So let it deploy. Let's check our, our private space changes are done or not. Yes, perfect. These changes are done. We can see that in the domain, we have new custom domain. Okay. Once this is done, what we can do, we can check. Okay. So let's on our postman. Okay. Let's make it ready. Okay. We'll keep this our URL ready. Now let's go quickly and see whether our app is deployed, changes are done. Right. Yes, it's up and running. Now, this is my URL. Let's copy this URL, copy this. And if you go to our postman, let's paste it here. Control V. You can see that. Okay. And this is my endpoint. Okay, don't get confused with this. This is my app name. This is my actual endpoint. Now you can see that this is my domain name. Okay, so I will go ahead and say you can see that we are able to see proper URL. Okay, so let me recap what we have done. We have configured the custom domain. Okay, so first we went to our 
GoDaddy, we bought a new domain name. And once we bought the domain name, we have already created a private space on our cloud of 2.0. So that public domain target we have, DNS target we have picked up from there. And we have added one CNAME record over here. CNAME star this and I think for one week it will be there. Okay. Now to test this, I have an app, something called what's my DNS dot. Here we have on we have cross-checked whether my domain name is properly configured and if I trigger that, where the traffic is going. It's going properly on my my public DNS target of my private space. Okay. Here we can see the A record also. Okay. So search for this. See, so that the you know uh, ingress load balancer is actually deployed on three workers. So you can see that these are public IP addresses of that ingress load balance. Okay. So when I trigger this, one of this IP will be picked up and then that will uh, you know, uh, divert or forward my API call to the pod. Okay. Once that is done, we have actually downloaded the uh, SSL certificate. You can download it from 0SSL or let's encrypt. You can take it from there or even we can generate manually. So we have generated manually. That's the reason on, on the, on the postman, you see this is, this is what the information coming from there. See, and it says that this self sign. Okay. Since I don't have CSN certificate, so it's coming as warning word. Okay. And I'll be able to configure my, so I'll go back quickly. So I'm, I'm able to configure my private space with my custom domain. Okay, so if I go inside my domain, so I have uploaded TLS. Okay. And you can see that configured properly. And once that is configured, I have deployed one app over here. And for my app, in ingress, I choose to have my URL. Okay. So here I can pass subdomain. Okay, so you can pass here test, you can pass here uh, stage. And here, instead of hard coding it, even we can say uh, app. So let me just quickly see add in point app hyphen name. app hyphen name, you can copy this. And here we pass the dev and here we can pass app name. So this is an inbuilt keyword. We can use this keyword. Uh, we can use uh, the business group ID. We can use the environment ID. Those are inbuilt variables. We can use this and whatever the app name associated with this deployed app that will be picked up. You can see here coming over here. Okay. So subdomain, we have selected Dave, then our domain, and then the, the app name. Okay, so app underscore or app hyphen name, if we give, it will, it will give you proper value. Okay, now other options we have already discussed, path rewrite, what do I mean by that, forward SSL, last mile security, we have seen. Today, we have seen how to configure custom domain and use that custom domain for our app, and we are able to access it. From the board. Yeah, that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.